Hey, what is going on everybody? Depraved Slasher here. And today we are playing some more Spider-Man. Had to get away from that music, sorry. Um, last episode, we chased a helicopter with a wreckling ball through the city, which a lot of people seen at E3. And a couple other places. It was like their big video thing. Um... Other than that, that was really the gist of last video. We unlocked some things to do, side mission wise. But I'm not really interested in that. But we're getting ready to go. Oh yeah, we did save the cop and the cop saved us and all that fun stuff. So now we're getting ready to see the cop get a medal. So let's do this. There's the stage entrance. And we'll be <coughs> right out front. Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey. You did save Spider-Man. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so? I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, like over, over? Um, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends. Well... A truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um, well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know... Instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. Or uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. Oh no. <laughs> I'm a mess these dragon people up. This is not cool. Miles! Miles! Are you 
okay? This is messed up. Miles! Miles! Right here, just stay. Thank God. Can you hear me, baby? Can you hear me? Here. Waste my hand if you can hear me. Stay here. I'm going to find your father. Peter. Peter, wake up. Come on, say something, please. Why do I gotta be Miles? I don't want to be Miles yet. Mom! This is crazy. Over there. Right there. What the hell? Where do you think you're going? I can circle around the edge to get past them. Through there. Dude, what the hell? These dragon people are messed up. Gotta find a way around these guys. Can't cross yet.
do what the deuce? Dad was right there. Gotta help him. I need you to go away, dude. Now. to leave now we knew you were the villain it's not even a surprise thanks to Sony revealing that Dad. Dad. Why does it always got to be raining at funerals? Like, that is so cliche. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were going to say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's a part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy! Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up. And that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on me? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. 
I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Uh, sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. Can't stay to talk, Spider-Man. Got places to be. I wasn't oh, trying to talk right? to you anyways, lady. MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. What up, dude? Oh, big guy. Why would you go after him? Okay, that's all of them. Oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. <laughs> Looks like I could override the circuit. I need my electric webs. Well, I know. I don't need you to, like, play by play what I need. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. Find a junction box. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Really? Gotcha. Almost there. One more box should do it. Really? Oh, 
Oh, man. Lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. It's an... Uh, almost looks like an Iron Man thing. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait. These are Osborne campaign offices. All the paths originate from the same address. Guns from Fisk's armory. Truck bombs? This is crazy. Wow. These guys aren't playing any games. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. <sighs> be careful. I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I ain't got time to be Yuri, careful. It's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. Consolidated shipping. Oh, I'm so tired of snipers. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. I can use that stuff I found at the recycling center. Nice. Love using bad guys' own weapons against them. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like. That's cool. There's the snipers. Oh, well, uh, 
需要诊断支线电线。嗯，钢丝沉呐。Did you think he was actually going to do something? Toodles. Lee's not out here. Better check inside. These guys aren't kidding around. from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. What else can I find around here? They have bases all around the city. Of course they got bases all around the city. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. What in the deuce? As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. Out of here. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. Hey, MJ, I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Nice. Did you find Lee? No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Ride. Sounds familiar. So I'll check it out and get back to you. <laughs> Um, I dodged that. No more of your crap.
Y'all were... Well... Demons. Copy, Silverbird. We're descending to location. There's another one. Silver Sable's involved, too? Safety's off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things! Down! Down! That's from Silver Sable. Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. She looks cool. But they made her look really old. Nice entrance. Solid 8 out of 10. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International, a private security force, paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Pretty dope, though. I didn't think they'd have got her in the game. Definitely did not expect it. Hey, sorry about that stable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind, Norman Osborne. Lee is doing some not cool things. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? Just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. You're a douche, Aunt May. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hmm, this office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. Like that. Huh, never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... 
high voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, <coughs> but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Very soon, you'll hear stories about me. Looks like this note is for May. Stories claiming I'm a terrorist and a murderer, those stories will be true. But the story we wrote together, the story of Feast, is also true. I want you to know that I always Leo believed really in our mission. About me. It wasn't a this front or a show. It had an honest expression of my heart. When you help someone, you truly do help everyone. Please don't let my failings... Something your... Sway your belief... You were strong, May, strong enough to tell a new story at Feast, one unburdened by my faults. Thank you for all you have done. Oh, I guess I could have. It's annoying. Lee's journal. A key. I wonder where the lock is. Wilson Fisk has been arrested. I can barely believe it. The day I've planned for, dreamed of, is finally here. But for some reason, I hesitate. Can I really go through with this? Things will happen so Lee quickly if I give the world. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. If I give the word, my men will claim Fisk's arms, his explosives, his secrets. We'll use that strength to teach Norman true pain. He'll know what it is to see things he loves destroyed by his own hands. But achieving that end will mean giving up so much. Everything I've built here at Feast, all the good I've done, could be wiped out if my plan succeeds. My chance is finally here, yet I still hesitate. Should I turn back? A part of me wants to. But the demon is hungry, and I don't think I'm strong enough to hold it back. Wow. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Remember the old man said only balance can master the demon's strength. Without balance, the monster will turn on any who attempt to control it. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. Oh. Got Mickey and Ying. That was easy. Whoa. What are you hiding, Lee? He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? He sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon. 
until he became one. This is all about Norman Osborn. His whole career. Well, he must have been obsessed with him. Oscorp lost a lawsuit about improper clinical trials years ago. Did they cover this up? I've never heard of it. Oh, Harry was born. Oh, this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. I can feel my power growing. Feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become a monster. Is to become one. I've heard that saying. Creepy. Why would you have a negative? design of that's just weird this might help us figure out what Lee's planning next <laughs> it's a burn room wired to destroy evidence had found this or may don't want to think of what could have happened <laughs> now how do I get out of here That is. Giant grill, maybe? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. You can get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done.
Wait, wait, wait! I think he knows. All right, Mr. Lee. Dang, 3,000 XP. It's another point. Level up. 10 more health. Captain Watanabe. Finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen. He's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, <coughs> we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. Your APB is not gonna matter. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait, remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah. See ya. Dinner. It's feeling I'm gonna have to save her. <sighs> what should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How you got to wait, Doc. Parker! Exciting news! Come by the lab! Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Doing a little nighttime bird watching? Well, I was watching for nocturnal raptors in the park when I noticed a bunch of men armed with rifles over at Belvedere Castle. Thanks for the heads up, Miss, uh... Stephanie, let me know if I can help. I'll keep an eye on the activities from up here. Thanks for the assist, Stephanie. Why would armed men be at Belvedere Castle? Got a hunch they're not tourists. Fisk's men. This isn't good. Excuse me, sir. Literally didn't see that coming. Watch your back. Lucky shot. I'm in. He's here. Someone there? Shh. That's all of them. <laughs> Let's find out what they were up to. Not sure what's going on here. I wonder if there's any info I can get from this flash drive. Awesome. Stephanie, a bird just stole a flash drive full of evidence. Maybe a pigeon. Is that normal? It is nesting season, so I'm not surprised. 
You know, I think there's a nest in the trees just southeast of the castle. Great. I'll check it out. He's got buddies. Great. Come back with that flash drive, you dirty sky rats! Try positive reinforcement. You know, kids are actually remarkably intelligent. Remarkably intelligent, huh? Uh, hey, pigeons! Sorry about the dirty sky rats thing. Maybe we can make a deal? Whatever Fisk is paying you in birdseed, I'll double it! You got some kind of... Got one. But he doesn't have the drive. to the laptop to see what Fisk's men were up to. That was fun. Looks like they were uploading a worm to the Central Park Wi-Fi system. This could give them backdoor access to a ton of personal data. Come to think of it, even I use this network. Wait, it's still uploading remotely. There must be multiple access points. Stephanie. You're my eyes in the sky. See anything else strange in the park? Uh, I see a pair of horned owls and... Oh, more guys at a nearby junction box. Thanks. Keep a lookout for anything else. I need to get to that junction box before the upload completes. If they can't access the laptop, they can't upload. Anybody come here? Thanks for the heads up. I better get moving. Two more? I never thought I'd say this. Why does Central Park need such strong Wi-Fi coverage? I thought people came here to get away. There they are. Need to keep them away from that box. Anything moves, I'm using. Yeah, but I only got a minute and 24 to get it done in. Really hate timed missions. This is gonna get bloody. No shield business for you. Oh, you guys just made this easy. There. The people of Manhattan can rest easy knowing that their passwords and cat videos are safe. Spider-Man? I think they might have seen me. Oh no. Are you sure? Uh, pretty sure. Armed men just arrived. 
Lock the roof entrance and hold tight. I'm on my way. I need to get to Stephanie before Fisk's men do. She wouldn't be involved if it weren't for me. They're trying to break down the door. We know you're working with the spider. Open up! Nearly there. But like, I'm still not finishing people in one combo. Split up and find the girl with the binoculars. Freeze! I saw you, Spider-Man! Take off! Get off the girl over the edge! Now! I'm hitting the dodge button. I need you to dodge. Spider-Man. That was a little more exciting than my average night of birding. Hey, thank you. Your eagle eyes stopped an incarcerated crime boss from harvesting half the city's personal data. Not too shabby, huh? <coughs> Plus, I found a nest of red-breasted nuthatches when you triple-kicked that guy in the face. Real beauties, too. You want to check them out? Thanks, but uh, I think I'll focus on jailbirds for now. That was a fun little side mission. Missed another call from Doc. I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, Sorry. but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple crossed, Doc. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Spider-Man. Um... I'm really starting to like this game. It's slowly starting to become my favorite Spider-Man game. I still think this original second movie game is a little bit higher. But it's still pretty good. Um, as always, if you guys like the video, make sure you slash that like button. Subscribe. Comment down below if you're liking the series. Um, ring that bell for notifications. And as always, I cannot wait to see you depraved people later.